Central City, New Orleans, Josephine Street to be exact, has a history of being a high violent crime area where not many outsiders are welcome. 16, 17, taking nine nine. from that Josephine Do that know for me. Once heavily infested with drugs and murder, Josephine Street went down in the history of old New Orleans as a dangerous place to be. But between the early 1990s and late 2000s, it became a family neighborhood. Federal investigators say the Hankton family ran the illegal drug trade in Central City, New Orleans for 17 years. An operation that started in the early 1990s by George Cup Hankton. Cup was a drug lord that ruled the city's drug trade from his 17th Ward Holly Grove neighborhood for years. Nine years the elder, Cup would mentor younger cousin Telly on the ins and outs of the drug game and by 18 years old, Telly, a few cousins and friends had joined the organization. Telly grew up on Josephine Street where he began his criminal activity. He was the only child in a large family that was well known before the 90s and everybody knew of them and their street reputation. After joining the family's business somewhere in 94, Telly began to rise in the ranks and was slowly becoming the face of the organization. After 10 years of flying under the radar while making millions of dollars, a civil war broke out between the family and now former henchmen Jesse Tutu Reed and Darnell Durney Stewart. Sources say the trio robbed the stash house that belonged to the Hangtons and in doing so bit the hand that fed them, which kicked off a vicious war that created losses on both sides. The beef started in the early 2000s and lasted for years as it played out like a real high Hollywood movie with Telly as the star and several of his henchmen as important supporting characters. Mooney Porter, Andre Reese Hankton, Kevin Jackson, Edwin Allen, Christopher Dorsey, and several others have all became famous for their roles in this action drama. They say I'm guilty by association. Once the beef got started, Telly and his team was full throttle, getting at Pluck Broussard and his crew on several occasions, but unsuccessful in their first few attempts. Although the Hangtons were the aggressors in the war, the opposing trio was still in it, and in December of 2007, they caught up with the Hangtons' top dog, George Cup, who was gunned down at a car wash in the 17th Ward. Tutu and Darnie Stewart were the only two suspects in Cup's murder, but were never convicted and were released from jail before there was a trial. What they doing? Take nah, him nah, to the jail? Nah, That's nah, it. Nah, go to jail. Every nah, two nah. three days. Lock that yeah. guy buying money. Where the law needed proof, Telly didn't, and for the love of his mentor, he went all out. Man, gang, you heard me? Yeah. I'm out to survive myself, man, my little dog. Four years after the war started and on May 13, 2008, while driving down Claiborne Avenue, one of the city's busiest strips, with Telly as the passenger and cousin Andre Reese Hankton as the driver, they spotted Darnell Stewart and immediately began to chase him. In a high-speed chase, Darnell led them down Claiborne Avenue for blocks before crashing his vehicle into a dumpster where he got out on foot and tried to run, but it was too late. Reese hit the gas and the car hit Darnie, sending him several feet into the air where his fall was captured by the concrete. Telly got out of the car walked over to Durney with his weapon pointed and spazzed out. He shot him four times in the face and five times in the body. I'm on my hustle, my head Pretty much I can tell it Hank, then you hear me, you know what I'm saying? Once arrested, Telly paid bail of $1 million and was back on the streets where he could tend to business. And high up on the list of things to do was to get at Tutu Reed. And in June 2009, he succeeded. You in the mouth, you hear me? Home of the apes, you hear me? Anything bound to go down, you hear me? Telly Hankton, Edward Allen, Kevin Jackson, Jackson and Telly's number one go-to disposal guy, Walter Mooney Porter, all had their hands in on killing Tutu Reed, but this time Mooney Porter's name would stick out the most. Sometimes called Urkel, Mooney Porter grew up around Valence and Ferret Street, where he became fluent in different avenues of crime, including the bank robberies of two Capital One branches that totaled $134,000 in stolen cash. He was a cowboy that never got caught without his two pistols, and on the day Telly and his gang caught up with Tutu, there was 50 bullet shells found at the crime scene that came from Mooney's gun alone. The same verse that told who Mooney is, is the same verse that implemented BG as an official member of the Hankton's crime family. <laughs> With the disposal of Tutu Reed and Dernie Stewart, Telly and his crew had won the war but was still fighting the battle which now included witnesses, evidence, and court trials. When Telly was arrested in 2010, it came out that the Hangtons had built the $43 million narcotics empire from a Josephine Street side.
sidewalk. All of Telly's business was now public news. When the trial got started for the Dirty Stewart murder, Telly was still in control, but this time from behind bars. The witness who saw Telly shoot Dirty was prompt and ready to testify, but was met with the notorious Mooney Porter who shot the witness 17 times. Miraculously, he survived and still testified against Telly, a brave act that ended with Mooney Porter killing the witness brother as a retaliation for testifying. We have issued an arrest this evening for Walter Porter. In 2009, BG and two other Hankton crew members were pulled over in New Orleans East in a stolen SUV with several stolen big guns and lots of ammunition. By the time his trial started, the federal law already had BG phone recordings of him and Mooney Porter having conversations about inside jobs that had been pulled by the family. BG was sentenced to 14 years. I got a open charge, I hope the feds don't pick up my case. By 2011, 13 members of the Hankton organization was arrested in a conspiracy that involved many vicious acts and high volume cocaine dealing for over two decades. Nine out of the 13 people were convicted, including Telly, Mooney, Kevin and Reese, who out of the nine received life sentences. Telly himself swallowed nine convictions of his own, consisting of three murder convictions, eight racketeering, and a slew of conspiracy charges. He was found guilty in the killings of Derny Stewart, Darby Besson, and Tutu Reed, as well as the 2006 Central City Massacre, where Telly was blamed for killing five teenagers as a retaliation on the Pluck Broussard crew. When you live by the gun, you die by the gun. When you huff with the Hanktons, you die by the gun. 15 years of ruling the game, 10 of which built the million dollar empire, and 5 of which ended in murder, imprisonment, and ultimately the end of a reign. Yeah, I make a network, some Glock mines and ARs, that's my best work. Turn it, I get in the house in the wet works. You got nerves selling that wet work, I wet you over your work, I got nerves, love to wet you and love putting in work. I save off the job, I'd rather sell dope and ride, paint dripping like slide, we bubbling over the city like the blob. So as for me, I'm as far as a Nashville, not straight from Nassau of one fat go. I'm rare with these rappers with the knock them all from that raw. <laughs> Look, you don't want me to keep getting up in your bar.